Okay, I'm recording. So I asked this question on what if, um, is it, you know, if I'm say living in London, and I wanna go out to live in another part of the UK, uh, is that potentially coming from fear or should I do that? Well, I mean, I think the thing with that is if I'm doing anything from fear, um, then usually, it's good to, if I can, transcend the fear because, and transcend, you know, one of the things in addiction is geographicals, like having the idea that if I move to another place, life's going to be so much more amazing in this different location. Like if I could go to the Bahamas or the Seychelles, or um, if I could live on a tropical island with, a, with just the dolphins and a, and a few coconut trees, then, you know, that's going to be far better than living in London with all the pollution, and all the uh, irritating people. But so when it's held in mind like that as kind of an escape, uh, often it means then um, for someone who's trying to escape from London, uh, that uh, they're trying to get away from London for a better location to be better. And it's more coming from the head as an escape mechanism or an addictive mechanism to just escape from what's going on. So what's going on there is that one hasn't utilized the full, it doesn't matter if you do go, but you haven't utilized the full opportunity of clearing what's coming up in the ego in London. So you could stay in London and just clear out the fears and the resentments, or if you are suffering from things like illnesses, like allergies, like try and see if you can clear the allergies through cancelling beliefs or through spiritual work or whatever method you find to clear it. Uh, and, and, and then that will then remove that as being the need to move from London or that it's going to be an easier life. Now, if you move all the fears and limitations and the frustrations with London and you transcend them or you clear them in London, and then if there's, and now you, that you've cleared all the resentments and the fears and the, and the resentments or the health problems in London or solve them uh, with spiritual or whatever help, then um, you've got, you're now having a clear channel to spirit, to your intuition, to God's intuition. And then if it's still, you still want to go off and live in the Bahamas or live in uh, Scotland or wherever it is, or, or in, in Wales with the sheep, uh, then uh, if that's still there and you've cleared everything in London, then obviously that's a divine, um, a divine intuition is not coming from an escape or a head or missing the opportunity to not clear what's coming up for you in London. Um, generally, if a spiritual seeker is moving uh, and it's and they and it's because and they're missing an opportunity to clear what they need to clear in a location, then the new location will eventually give them that same problem <coughs> because they just haven't uh, they haven't cleared it. So the universe, you, you can't really escape uh, by a different location if it's, uh, ego, if it's a lesson that you need to the universe, you know, some karmic belief system within you is still going to pop up wherever you go in the world. Now, if it's not because of that, because you've cleared everything and you're in tune uh, with, with uh, the deeper, uh, with your deeper spiritual nature, then it will be the right thing to do. And it's no longer, you know, the spirit no longer needs for you to be in a certain location. Uh, what happens is if, if it is a geographical, there's a kind of a feeling that it's going to be a relief in that other location. That other location is magical and special. Uh, and uh, the, there might be a tinge of resentment and fear about the current location or that there's too many li limiting challenges in this location. But if it's coming from an ego place and you move, those things are probably just going to pop up again eventually. Because with, I mean, all that... Um, addiction, whether it be drugs, alcohol, food, or doing geographicals is, is it's a temporary relief. If you're feeling bad and you eat a, eat a bag of donuts, you get temporary relief, but then that's it. You still feel just as bad after you eat the, you know, after you've eaten the bag of donuts, or if it's um, alcohol and, uh, you know, you, if it was, um, and you, and you're not feeling good, you have the alcohol, you feel good for a while, but the same problems come back. So if it's something like that, you have to transcend the alcohol or the food. And if that's what's happening, more from an ego level that it wants to move, then you need to transcend uh, the geographical, maybe through feeling the feelings out, 
counseling beliefs, whether there are illnesses or finding a way to resolve that and still see if, if the calling is to go somewhere else. Anyway, those are just some of my thoughts on it. And